Hello, traders and investors, and uh, thanks for joining us here on the uh, Investing Channel. Uh, my name is Paul Wallace. I'm a, uh, a trader, a coach, and an investor. And I thought today that I'd have a look at the uh, the aviation sectors. So uh, I thought I'd uh, bring up a sort of three charts of uh, the sector and a couple of stocks that I'm watching at, and we're going to have a look and see, you know, what if any opportunities are arising for us there. So I thought I'd start with, you know, the first chart here is a chart of the uh, ETF jets, okay, dollar jets, which really is a, uh, it's a sector ETF that looks at the aviation sector in particular. Uh, and what it does look to focus on is uh, primarily, primarily US, uh, a little bit of non-US uh, elements that are all involved in aviation. Uh, I think it's made up around about 70% of uh, US airlines in particular, but <clears throat> there's everything in there. So there's manufacturers, there's airports, there's uh, services, et cetera. So if we look at this chart here, well, you can probably see for yourself that um, you know this is just a, a, a very simple, plain daily chart here. And uh, well, you can see in the sort of kind of a pre-COVID uh, world, what we had was the, the price was just really sort of batting about in a nice range there between about twenty-eight dollars and thirty-two dollars. Uh, then, of course, what we saw sort of through February, March early this year was was the collapse in that uh, in the price of that ETF, and we went down from around about thirty down to around about um, twelve dollars. Uh, we had a little bit of uh, you know a bounce, what maybe sort of veterans might even call a bit of a dead cat bounce there, but uh, you know it didn't really it didn't really sort of uh, come to much, and we kind of uh, we, we sort of traded down through that. I, I would be looking at that as a as a little bit of a kind of a, uh, a descending wedge, which we broke out and had a push, and I think that push happened as uh, we had a little bit of <clears throat> overconfidence euphoria in uh, throughout those stock markets in sort of uh, into may due time when uh, we thought that you know that effectively we were beating the, uh, the sort of uh, covid virus and of course we we're looking at economies to, to sort of start to reopen uh, and then maybe it was just a little bit of euphoria that came with it that and, and we saw that that price kind of rallied back up there to about 22. but you know that kind of has uh, that's kind of fallen away as we've had you know not just tensions through to COVID, but of course the US, China, and also just the possible re-emergence of, uh, of, the, of the virus in certain parts of the globe. And, and that, of course, has a huge knock-on impact on transportation and in particular aviation. And what we've seen there is that kind of that price has sort of just collapsed down to around about sort of, it's around about sixteen and a half dollars I would look at that just as a very simple, pure technical analysis. Is that a little bit of a, uh, a descending triangle, okay? And I'd probably be looking at sort of $16 as being a bit of a line in the sand. And if we know if we can hold above it, well, then maybe on a long-term investing uh, opportunity, you might be looking to sort of uh, to, to go along with that. But personally, I think if it breaks that $16 level, then it's heading back to, to $12 uh, and below. And if we look at my next chart, it kind of reflects, you know, what we're seeing in that uh, ETF. And, uh, you know, my next uh, chart here is I thought I'd have a just look at one of the airlines. And in particular, this is DAL, Delta Airlines. Uh, and you can see for yourself, it, it's not massively different from the uh, from the overall sector ETF. In particular, we can see Delta, you know, that sort of just dropped from around about kind of $55, $57 range, okay, collapsed its way down to just sub-20, and a little bit like the Jets ETF, put in a bit of a uh, descending wedge there to sort of new lows before breaking out, okay. Came back up to that kind of around about $37.50 area, couldn't fill that gap around about the $40 area, which you can see there on the chart. And once again, a bit like the ETF, it is actually it's fallen away. And here for my uh, final chart, I thought I'd look at one um, of the manufacturers, big one, okay, Boeing, right? So you can see the chart there for yourself. You know, Boeing's had trouble for years, really, okay? A lot of that, you know, due to the uh, sort of outfall of, uh, um, you know, what happened with the 737 MAX program. You can see for yourself there, okay? You know, the share price finally okay, collapsed through $300 and went down to, I think it's about $95. We got down to sort of at end of uh, March. Uh, and then we, we, you know, we had a little bit of a, a bump and then we had that kind of descending wedge that we saw with uh that we saw with you know the the sort of jets and down a little bit of uh you know that euphoria followed through but once again we can see the price has fallen back and i see is now sort of holding that kind of 170 dollar area if we break beneath it well invariably i'd see is heading back down to that kind of 100 dollar area and that's what i'd be looking at over the certainly over the uh over the short term so I hope you found that uh, useful and I hope you find that's given you some insight. And as always, I wish the best of success in your own trading and investing endeavors. Uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Many thanks.